Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I wanted to do like an addendum to Flower Friday this week. I was like really struggling in that video for some reason. I was having a hard time keeping motivated because I was, I had so much on my mind and I had a lot of stuff to do. So I kind of felt like I cheated you guys a little bit. I mentioned in the video that I would show you guys uh, how to make a flower using this dye and I completely forgot when I was making that video. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. <laughs> what I've done is I've just went ahead and I've die cut a couple pieces and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make the flower. Sorry, my phone is buzzing. So I went ahead and die cut a couple of the pieces and this is what they look like when they're die cut. Okay. And this is, again, this is the spiral garland, uh, from Sizzix. And this is perfect for making a rolled rose. Perfect for it. Perfect size, perfect shape. Okay. So what you need to do and what, well, what I do, let's put it that way, is I give this guy a couple good hits with, um, spray. Okay. And you can use water if you want, use whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But I just chose to use my spray because I like sparkles. And then I like mine folded. Um, a lot of people don't. So if you don't want it folded, you can just start rolling from here. You don't have to fold it. But since I like mine folded, I'm going to go ahead and start my fold. And I'm just not even folding straight down. I'm just kind of just creasing it. So I have a guide. And then I'm just going to do that all the way around. And you want to do this while your paper is still damp because if it starts to dry, it gets hard to fold. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going around and I'm just going, just kind of creasing it down. And this one, you know, on my other ones, the corners were kind were not rounded. They were more square. Um, so you kind of had to fold and then fold it over again, kind of fold the triangle and then fold it down again. On this one, you just keep going and you just fold in a circle. So this is going to have a slightly different look. So I'm just going to keep folding all the way over, all the way down to the very end. Okay. So right about there, you're going to leave this circle because that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to glue on. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper 90 degrees toward myself. Okay. Now here's a tip. When you're cutting, you want the paper that you want to see facing you. Okay. You don't want to cut it upside down because then you're going to have to roll backwards and it gets kind of funny with your fingers. It's kind of hard. Okay. So remember the paper that you want to see. So if you're only using a single sided piece of paper, the paper that you want needs to be facing up. Okay. Not the white side, but the colored side. All right. So now you're just going to fold your 90 degree angle and then you're just going to start twisting. Just keep turning all the way and you're going to roll this all the way to the end. Now these take a little bit of a learning curve because you have to um, use both of your hands at the same time pretty much. And it took me a few times to get it to where I thought it looked right. So now I can go kind of fast, but before, you know, I had to really kind of go slow because I wasn't sure how to make the paper lay because when you get closer to the outside, it doesn't roll tight. Okay, like it's rolling tight here. It doesn't roll tight at the end. So you kind of have, it just looks different than what a normal rolled rose would be when you're folding it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep folding over and keep folding over. And I found that it looks best when you stop rolling and you still have a little bit extra here. And you just kind of turn those underneath with your fingers. Okay, so this is what we have right now, okay? And you can let it go a little bit if you want because I like mine to be maybe not as tight in the middle as um, some of the other, some you know, some other people might. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and these take quite a bit of hot glue, okay, because you don't want these guys to fall apart. So I kind of load up the bottom here with hot glue and then I make sure that my little tab there is going to get caught in it. And then, oops, you don't want that to happen. Okay. Then you just press it down into the hot glue 
Now here's a good little tip. Since you have the hot glue on there already, and if you like sparkles, pour some glitter in there. I think it would be really pretty because especially the, like this color, because it's kind of that blue icy silver color, you know, for especially for winter, it would look really good. So that's what this rolled rose looks like when you cut it with the dye. Okay. Now, really pretty. I really like this one a lot. And um, in fact, I've been using it a lot on projects this way. And it's kind of a lot easier because you don't have to take a few minutes to cut that, you know, kind of odd shaped circle. But here's the thing. If you don't like the more uniformed look that this gives, then cut your own. Because this, you know, obviously is going to be uniform because it's cut with a die. Um, but I kind of like grunt, maybe not grunged up, but like distressed it up a little bit by folding it over. So you get those creases and things like that, that you wouldn't have if you were just going to use it, you know, just going to roll it like this. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to, um, you know, go ahead and do this video. So you guys got the tutorial using the die as well. Cause I kind of flaked out on it on Friday. I completely forgot after I said it. So, all right, everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.